It's Happy Valley's number one station. You guys are awesome. You're the best. I love you guys. Trying to pick the right one. Trying to find a show. Need to warm me down. B94.5. Bree from America's Next Top Model All-Stars, Cycle 17, can you believe it, is on the show today. How are you, Bree? I'm good. How are you guys? Oh, we are good. We are good. So on the last episode, you were eliminated, but you seemed so confident after the photo shoot. What happened? Um, you know what? I think that when you go in and do a photo shoot and you wait for the judges to reveal your picture, at that point, it doesn't matter. You have to just go in and be confident that you gave all that you could right. in the photo shoot. And whatever happens, you just got to leave it there. So at least you're walking away, in a way, a winner. You won the challenge where you got a guest spot on the CSI, a CSI episode, correct? Yes. We were the gas chromatic mass spectrometer. <laughs> so, uh, how did that go? Can you give us a little bit of an inside scoop? I can't yet, but I can tell you that I was really excited about winning the challenge. You know, mm-hmm. CSI is one of the biggest franchises on television in the world, besides Top Model, and just to have the opportunity is incredible. And so, I'm excited, but I can't tell you anything about it, but you will see some great stuff soon. So, your real life right. roommate is still in the challenge, is that right? Bianca? Yes, she's still in the competition and I'm just like I'm just rooting for her. I really want her to exceed to succeed in the competition and you know, it's hard living with women. It really it really, really is. Especially that many of us. Oh, but yeah. I just I, I really hope that you stay focused. Because I know she can pull through. So like I was saying earlier, you uh, were so confident about the photo shoot. Were you expecting this elimination? I think once you make it to the bottom to make it like it's something great. Um, I think once you <laughs> once you enter the bottom two, you have to be realistic with yourself that is a 50-50 chance that you're going to go home. And I think last night I just accepted whatever was going to happen, and I was just okay with it. I think the first time you do Top Model, all of us are so hungry and we're so desperate to win that, you know, when you're in that bottom two, you feel like there's no way, you know, (laughs) there's no way I'm going to be a model, there's no way I'm going to brand myself without the show, but last night going into the bottom two, I think I was a little more comfortable because, you know, even if I don't win a competition, it doesn't mean that I didn't win and succeed with the things that I wanted to do with myself in life, so I was okay either way. Oh, absolutely. So, um, from the first cycle, what is the difference between now and the All-Star? What was it with with you and in general? For me, going in the first time, I was 19 years old, and I... It was like the first time I saw like one of my dreams become tangible, you know, and so I just, it it was almost like a by any means necessary, I have to win this competition. My stakes were high, but going in this time, I feel like I've grown. I feel like I'm more experienced and I'm a little more seasoned than I was in the beginning. I'm a lot more seasoned and I just had to go in and not be competitive with anybody but myself. I had to do the best for myself so that even if I leave, I'll leave a positive impact on anybody that, you know, was around me. Instead of, she was a bitch. I can't. (laughs) She did it. You know, I didn't want that anymore. I wanted everybody to feel like, you know, you know, we're we're, we're competing, but we don't have to kill each other. We can be positive. We can chill. Absolutely. Well, professional. This is an encouraging process. So now that the show is over, you've been a successful model in your own right. What can we expect from you now? Well, I'm really excited to say that my Garnier Fruit Teeth um, campaign got renegotiated, so you'll see that around for a little bit longer. Um, I'm also in a new sitcom with Tyler Perry called For Better or Worse that comes out next month, uh, November 25th, I think it is. I think it comes out on Thanksgiving, (laughs) which is awesome. You know, and I just finished wrapping up my Old Navy Christmas commercial yesterday. So there's a lot to come in the winter for me. (laughs) Oh, very good. And one last thing before you go. How can all of your fans here at Penn State get at you on Facebook and Twitter? Hey, Penn State. 
Uh, this is Bree from America's Next Top Model, All Stars. And if you guys are on Twitter, hit me up. I'm at Miss Bree Scullard, and my website is Bree Scullard. All right, bye guys. Again, that was Bree from America's Next Top Model, All Stars. Thank you so much for coming on the show. We look forward to tonight's episode and speaking with the next model eliminated because it doesn't stop here. We'll have all of them coming through all hit B94.5 week after week. And don't go anywhere. More of your favorite music coming up next here on The Bay.